Hey guys, what's up? Today we have a special knife, we always do, and uh, this knife is made by John Arnold. And uh, sorry, I, I cannot pronounce the last name really good. Um, he's from South Africa, and making knife is his part-time job. He just makes them because he loves them, um, but he has a profession which is an architect. So, you know, combining architecture uh, experience into knife making is just out of this world, the best. Uh, because he knows all the angles, uh, all the little details. Uh, when you build a house, you know, same as uh, building a knife, which is really hard. Uh, everything has to be precise, uh, otherwise um, you will have uh, little uh, flaws here and there, okay? The knife is a flipper, uh, not many uh, Ameri American knife makers use this type of flipper, uh, usually they have a, a flipper sticking out of here. Um, this type of flipper is not the best, well, well actually uh, it's not the easiest um, type of flipper to deploy but it does retain a very very clean look to the knife. And it's easy to deploy uh, once you get a hang of it. See, and it's very fast also. The knife comes with a uh, mammoth molar scale. And every scale on every knife are different. Are just, you know, very, very different. And uh, the scale is really nicely polished. I don't know if you can see the reflection of the light. Um, it, it, it really makes you appreciate tens of thousands of, I don't know, probably millions of years of uh, compression and of uh, minerals into this uh, molar. Uh, a lot of uh, colors, a lot of uh, textures, and, um, you know, a lot of uh, character. The bolster is a 440C uh, stainless steel, uh, which has been uh, analyzed uh, like gold and very, very even uh, analyzed color. Uh, blasted and on the edge of the bolster, um, polished, very, very high mirror polished uh, to give it a uh, very, very uh, elegant looking detail. And if you guys notice, uh, the, between scale and the, the bolster, um, there's a line a white line a, and a red, uh, dark red, uh, probably uh, resin, resin, yeah, resin. Uh, so it so the the molar isn't uh, actually uh, touching the scales directly, and it gives you the another um, higher uh, class look. Uh, looks a little bit more complicated, of course. And complicated looking always uh, makes it look sophisticated. Okay, uh, the blade is a uh, reverse tanto. And I love this blade style because it's very useful and at the same time uh, very strong. It has a very strong tip. Uh, that's Jones' uh, trademark and he uses IKBS. I don't know if you have noticed, but on the flat, it's actually mirror polished flat on both sides. It, it, it's just so amazing. You know? In real life, you know, it's kind of like a mirror. Uh, it's even uh, better than you see on the uh, on the video because I don't have a 4K video to show you. This is just 720 HD. Um, the hollow grind here on both sides uh, are hand rubbed and a very, very nice hand rub. Very even. The top here, no jimping, but uh, it has also been uh, really highly polished. Not mirror polish, but uh, very high satin polish. And that's really, really detailed work very thick liner, it's a liner lock 
and uh, right now it logs about 60% and uh, the log is very strong very strong and uh, no vertical nor um, horizontal movement very very solid lockup very easy to deploy a very smooth opening and fast I haven't played with this knife oof, for so long um, I received this about what two weeks ago and uh, I've been playing since I received the knife uh, so the 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 deploying action is actually um, you know kind of like second nature now uh, John gives a very very nice jump in here to give uh, the index finger a lot of traction uh, but it's not a very sharp jipping so don't worry your uh, fingertip will be fine the box spacer is made out of carbon fiber and it has a glow in the dark um, insert I don't know if you can notice it I hope so yeah kind of you can kind of uh, see it glows um, and it, 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 it's a very nice detail it goes uh, through the knife so you see that on both sides and uh, it's for you to find uh, the knife to be able to find the knife easier uh, in the dark uh, the liners you see here are also uh, filed hand filed uh, to give it a little bit more class the box the, the box spacer stands out a little bit uh, it, it serves as the uh, lanyard hold and at the same time you can use it to uh, use as uh, cubaton or a skull uh, crusher but you won't be able to uh, to you know break window with it but you can break the window with this size so you know that's a pretty uh, double function uh, knife you got here uh, in a close position how cool is that eh? you know strike to break uh, you know attackers hand away and on this side you can strike it to uh, break the window in an emergency uh, situation of course the clip is made out of titanium and uh, it's also being analyzed uh, a darker uh, bronze uh, drilled nicely drilled no sharp edges very very nice drill and uh, it's it sits on top of a uh, well, triangular uh, stano so the screws that and doesn't go straight uh, to the molar uh, which it's better because uh, this scale might break uh, with a lot of uh, heating around so that's a nice design uh, the only downside that I find is that um, if you wear really thick jeans or you know uh, mission pants then uh, the little space you see uh, between the scale and the clip it might be a little bit of problem um, it has not been uh, my problem but uh, it might be some people's problem uh, but the knife is designed for dress carry you know it is a, a gentleman's uh, tactical folder as you can see so you are supposed to wear uh, dress pants and uh, carry this knife not the big thick uh, blue jeans as the knife is not intended to be carried that way uh, blade centering perfect now oh, it has a good weight uh, probably about what seven ounces but acceptable and uh, the blade uh, length is about 3.3 uh, I guess I'll have to check that so um, check uh, Mr. Arnold out. He'll be in Blaze Show along with a few other South African knife makers and uh, you really really have to get one of his knives. Uh, it, it's very very nicely built, uh, very well priced, very high quality and materials 
and the design are just amazing, very fun and very uh, utilitarian. So um, thank you guys for watching. See you around. Bye.